Hi everyone and welcome to another Maculisa review. Today I'm going to review this USB to SATA IDE cable. Uh, this product I purchased on the dlxtreme.com and um, it's worked fine for me, so far so good. So I'm just going to go through the spe specification for a second. Um, so it supports uh, USB 2.0, 3.0 interface and um, it supports also all sorts of hard drives, okay, 2.5, 3.5 IDE and 2.5 and 3.5 SATA and then it also supports uh, CD-ROM readers and burners and DVD-ROM and CD rewritable combo device DVD rewritable supported so basically any kind of uh, DVD or CD writers out there and it says also on the box that it supports Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows Millennium, Windows XP and Mac OS under Windows, uh, which I do not know what it means, but, but that, that's fine. I mean, I have a Macintosh and it's worked for me. So, um, now let me go into the detail of the products. Okay guys, so this is what you get in the box. You have these USB cable, alright. You have the power cord. We need to attach to this box here. Okay, it comes standard with the this uh, very strange to me plug. I never seen that this before. Uh, I don't know whether that's American or I don't really know. But um, anyway, I just swapped it for a European one and uh, I got no problems, you see. It's a 3-pin uh, power supply cord, which is very, very easy to, 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 to find. I just had one laying around the house and I used it uh, for this purpose. So, uh, and the box is also it's a standard Mm, uh, power supply plug that you need to plug to this box which is the core of the device right so uh, now let me uh, talk you through a little bit of uh, this box so it says USB 3.0 to SATA IDE cable okay uh, there is another version on on dlxtreme.com, which is a, a USB 2.0, and obviously it doesn't support 3.0. So you may want to think about it when purchasing uh, the other device. Uh, so what else? Uh, we have a a port, 2.5 IDE port, and a, a 3.5 IDE port. And then you have the SATA port for 3.5 and 2.5 uh, R disk drives. Okay, here in the center you have a button that I've never used, but I suppose uh, it has got to do with uh, cloning software, something like Ghost or uh, Acronis uh, True Image. Yeah, just a uh, cloning software, basically. Okay. And um, I didn't use it. I didn't use it. I I didn't try the software because uh, I stick to to the ones I know. Uh, so as far as I can tell you, uh, with the software I use for cloning uh, PCs, uh, it has worked fine for me. All right. And um, I just backed up backed up my MacBook machine. Uh, with Time Machine, which is the software that comes standard with uh, um, with MacBook, and I back, backed up my whole uh, hard drive onto a, an external SATA hard drive, and uh, the process went smooth and yeah, fast and fine. So just to wrap it up, 
um, I say that the pros are that uh, this uh, device support USB 3.0 um, it supports all sorts of hard drives that are on the market um, and it's cheap it's cheap okay so and the cons are well the quality uh, of the material is not it's not good it's just very plasticky it feels cheap actually and uh, as you can see here I don't know if you can see but uh, the for example the assembly of this device is not very uh, very precise if you see the USB port it's built it's a little bit tilted uh, it doesn't fit exactly into this outer rectangle all right yeah, just a little detail there um, but it tells you, you know the the build quality of this product uh, but that's it it works it gets the job done so uh, I would rate this um, device four star out of five because it's cheap and it gets the job done okay so uh, thanks for watching another Macalisa tutorial and uh, see you next time